Hi everybody, this is Truck World TV. We're at the uh, Volvo LNG Gas Ride and Drive event in Barcelona. Hope you enjoy yourselves and you can have a look around on the LNG Volvo FH and FM. Both based at 420 and 460 horsepower. We've got a mixture of uh, diesel and LNG. That actually, that 460 there is a diesel version. Uh, we've got a couple of diesels and then the rest of them are all LNGs. If we look around here, there's eight vehicles in total and we're going to be taking them out and have a look around. In fact, that's my ride coming along because I've got the LNG and then I've got the diesel. Okay, here we are with Martin Thomason, who's uh, head of product demonstration for Volvo Trucks uh, and we're in the 460 and we're in the LNG. Martin, what's the main benefit for, uh, for LNG? biggest benefit uh, we've got really is obviously the reduction in, uh, in emissions so by using by using LNG uh, we can get a 20% reduction or if you've got biogas you can actually go to a 400% reduction uh, in CO2 so from an environmental point of view uh, there's a huge benefit for, for going to the new technology. And from a driver's perspective I mean drivers might be a little bit nervous about LNG and, and you know does it, is it, does it affect performance and things like that? Yeah absolutely it's um, I mean drivers always uh, a little bit cautious of, of new new things particularly something as big as, as what, uh, what the gas truck is but in terms of performance it's absolutely fabulous there's no difference at all between diesel and gas um, performance is brilliant even at full weight you would never notice um, Technology's come on massively since we were at Euro 5, uh, and it's most definitely, most definitely the future. And this thing, it isn't dual fuel. It uses a little bit of diesel as well, doesn't it? Not just, not purely LNG. There's, there is a little bit of diesel as well in there. Yeah, absolutely. We've got um, it's around about 90 to 95 uh, percent gas usage, and around five to 10 percent diesel usage. Uh, we use the diesel to create a spark, uh, so it's like a liquid spark plug. But, uh, Probably the easiest way to describe it. Whereas uh, some of the competitors use a um, use a uh, electronic spark, so uh, that's the difference between the two. But we still use a small amount of diesel now to create that. The other thing that people worry about: what happens if I run out of either LNG or I run out of diesel? What's the score? Very good question. Um, the simple uh, the simple answer to the question is: make sure you don't run out. <laughs> but the key to uh, the key to operating with gas, unlike diesel, is you've got to plan. So you've got to plan where you're going to fill up, you've got to plan where you're going to deliver to, you've got to plan where the traffic's, you think the traffic's going to be, um, and you need to put more thought into it rather than uh, just diesel, because if it does run out, um, we still get 50 brake horsepower, but it's only enough just to move you out of the way. It's not a diesel engine, it's a gas engine, and as, as we've already said, the, the gas is purely there, uh, sorry, the diesel's purely there just to, uh, to give us the spark. And one of the other things, we're on a, a really, if you, if you look around, we're on a really hilly circuit here in the middle of uh, Spain, just outside Barcelona actually, uh, and we're using now the engine brake. Is it as effective? That's one of the things that people also get a little bit confused about. Yeah, absolutely, as you can see, I'm, I'm not touching the brake pedal here. We've almost almost come to a complete stop using purely, purely engine braking. So uh, we're not quite at full weight, but we're not a million miles off. Uh, and the engine brake performance is exactly exactly the same as the, uh, the diesel engine. So there's no compromise on performance with anything uh, in the drivetrain. And Volvo is saying this is for, you know, obviously we're in FHs and it's also going to be available in the FM as well, 420 and 460. Yeah. So they're saying it's for regional long haul. Uh, it, that's the main sector that it's been aimed at, yeah? Absolutely, yeah, it is. Um, I mean, the, uh, the longer you go, the obviously the, the higher the mileage, the more savings you can make. Uh, although it works for long haul and, as you said, regional distribution as well.